Hi everyone, welcome back to our devotion time. So today is January 6th, and our devotion is titled, Open Doors, from Colossians 4.3. Meanwhile, praying also for us, that God would open to us a door for the word to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in chains. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time together. And thank you, Father God, for the open doors that you give us, the opportunities to share the gospel, to share our testimony, to share our faith. We praise you and thank you, Father God, because we know the wise man winneth souls, and we want to be wise. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you would anoint us and that you would show us those open doors. I pray for your words today and not my own. In Jesus' name, amen. Paul had been called by God to preach, so he expected God to give him opportunities for evangelism. Paul called those opportunities an open door. As soon as he saw such a door opening, he went through it in full faith that it was God who was giving him an opportunity to preach. On one occasion, Paul had his, and his companions were preaching in Asia Minor. When they started off in a new direction, they were prevented, Acts 16, 6-10, When Paul had a vision during his sleep of a man in Macedonia calling him to preach, he changed plans, and the gospel made its first entrance into Europe. Paul wasn't frustrated about God closing one door because he expected another door to open, and it did. Even when Paul was under house arrest in Rome for two years, he preached and taught about Christ, winning many in Caesar's household to Christ. You can find that in Acts 28, 23 and 24, 30 and 31, and Philippians 4, 22. Would you like God to use you to spread the gospel? Pray for open doors and be ready to go through them. Oh, guys, we've talked about this so many times in our devotions, and you know my heart about winning lost souls to the Lord. I I have such a passion for that, and that's why I'm here doing these devotions because I want to win souls. And, you know, it tells us in Proverbs that the wise man winneth souls. And so I encourage you once again, just like I always encourage you, to give give those opportunities a chance because God will place them in your path. Search for them. And when you see them, step through. I mean it. Just step through and take the chance. Share your testimony. Or, you know, like you've all said, share a smile with someone. Give someone a hug today. Be a blessing to someone. When they see that light in you, and if they ask you, where, how can you be so happy? Tell them about Jesus. Because they need to know him as well. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you praise and glory today for the gift of salvation, for the wonderful good news that Jesus brought us. And we pray, Father, that you would give each one of us the courage to walk through every open door that you place before us, and that you would help us to recognize those doors, those opportunities when they come. And Father, I pray right now for my brothers and sisters that you would place a burden upon each one of our hearts for the lost, because that is the burden of your heart. That is why we're still here, is because it is your will that all men would be saved. And I pray, Father, right now, that my sisters, my brothers would realize that they're a part of that great commission, of that great calling, and that they can speak up and share who they are in Christ, and that you'll bless their efforts. I praise you and I thank you, Father, for every person listening today. And I thank you for this time with them. I give you praise and glory for each life represented here. And I I thank you for today. I thank you for healing in my body. I thank you, Father God, that you have brought life and light into my life and that I have the opportunity to share it. Father, I give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, as you can hear, I am still sick. (laughs) So I am on cold medicine, and um, 
Yeah, so I just pray for me, okay? Just pray for me. It's just a cold, but you know, colds they stink. They make you feel icky. So <laughs> I love you all. Thank you for being with me and sharing this time with me. Be blessed today. Take care of yourselves. Stay warm or cool, depending on which hemisphere you're in. And um, and stay well. And I love you. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.